welcome you have tuned into buy now sell now niti now i'm shrishti sharma and with me today is somit sarkar viewers this is the show where you get answers for all your stock related queries in a short while from now we will connect with our experts and today on to the show sharmila joshi as well as osho krishnan will be joining us to guide you better but before that let's have a quick look what the markets are up to So Samit uh, it's been a good day once again for the benchmark indices nifty holding on to the gains of almost 40 points and even bank nifty holding steady well it's just 40 points up above that 24800 level that we are seeing some buzzers and trade on the back of upgrade that is indigo and emphasis both have seen an upgrade coming in from brokerages jefferies has upgraded mm-hmm. the rating on indigo to buy from hold and for emphasis also nuama has upgraded their rating to buy from hold target price hikes have also come in for both the companies uh, some buzz that we have been seeing in the chemical names all as well dipak nitrite dipak fertilizers on the back of uh, some uh, anti dumping duty getting implemented uh that's more like on stock specific side we are seeing so but far. even the broader markets are supportive too so i mean look at the breadth of the market that's the nsc where we have we are seeing more than 1700 stocks that are in the advances versus a decline of over 700 counters but coming back to the large cap space then then indeed grassim tata consumers bharti airtel and titan and even asian pains are having a good day today but on the flip side that's dr reddy is that seeing a bit of a sharp knock in trade right now that's down about once uh uh one 1.8% other than that ntpc tata motor sipla some of the counters that are on the losing side but all in all a good day because what we are seeing is that all of these large cap names a couple of names that uh, somit was highlighting indigo emphasis they are doing well but all eyes today are indeed on the chemicals and fertilizer space that space is also seeing great moves stocks like srf upl they are also having a good day so that's about the how the markets are panning out but with this viewers let's move on and uh, let's get your stock related queries answered and viewers just note that you can connect with us live on the whatsapp number that will be flashing on the top of your screen all throughout the show that's on your screens right now as well you can note it down you can write your query other than that which stock that you have invested in which stock you want to invest in as well as you can also mention the time period that you wish to stay invested but with this let's uh, get started then and uh, we have sharmila joshi to guide you on the fundamental front and osho krishnan is joining us to guide you on the technical front a very good morning to both of you and thank you so much for your time and sharmila let me start with you then um, the first query that i have um, is coming in on bel um this query is coming from suresh and he wants to know what's your view on bel uh, can suresh once again go ahead and uh, buy this counter at current market price and what are the long term prospects of this so long term prospects are good uh, the question just remains uh, whether you uh, should invest at this price so my advice would be to wait a little bit i think we are witnessing some kind of a correction across psus and the valuations of bel uh, do look high uh that said as i said you know the future prospects look good so i think you know if you were to you know we are also sort of uh, witnessing a market which is uh, a little bit without a trend but if you were to see that trend return to the market and uh, interest return to psus uh, maybe you can go and invest in uh, bl right away or else just wait for a correction my broader advice would be to just wait for a correction and try and buy the stock on dip, on dips and for longer term investors who have it i think uh, just stay invested Query is from Gaurav from Bangalore and it's on Kansa Neralak. He wants to know whether should he buy this counter from media to long term perspective. Uh, Sharmila, what would be your view on Kansa Neralak? So I think an excellent company. There, uh, what we have witnessed though is that uh, there has been some kind of a competition in the pain space because some new names have entered. But you know, I think that we are sort of uh, done with uh, uh, that also. I mean, you know, the market has sort of absorbed that. So I think if you're medium to long term, uh, you could uh, look to uh, uh, again. I would say try and buy it on dips valuations. Uh, while more reasonable than that of the uh, of the end uh, uh, for a pain company, they are a tad on the higher side. But that said, I think I have greater comfort buying Kensai Nero like at current price than I have buying BL. And uh, of course, I think the advice is uh, both for for both stocks. It's a sort of a long term advice. So uh, yes, I think you can sort of. slowly start doing an sip in kensai nero like from this price and uh, the next query is actually from ribika from kolkata and she has 20 uh, shares of asian paints uh, she has bought this at a price of 3156 uh, she has she has been holding this counter for the last one year she wants to know whether should she continue to hold this uh, counter for the next one year uh, sharmila what would be your view 
so i think you know when i was talking of competition in the pain space and uh, stocks uh, getting impacted by uh, by that i think the greatest impact we have witnessed has been on asian pains because that was you know uh, within the paint uh, companies uh, getting a premium valuation and uh, we have seen that valuation getting corrected but i think that correction is all uh, like more or less done as well as i think you know uh, in terms of factoring in uh, how much impact there is going to be from uh, the competition etc market has also sort of digested that uh, results have been good valuations look reasonable but you know you know you can't take away from the fact that because of this increased competition you may not see a return to uh, the kind of valuations that the uh, stock enjoyed earlier but uh, within the pain stocks i think this would be a favorite and if you're a long term investor my advice would be to be a little more patient you've been patient uh, uh, in any case uh, you've been holding for a year i think give it another uh, 18 months All right, uh, Sharmila. Once again, uh, a query to you specifically. This one is from Pradeep, and uh, he wants to advise on RBNL. What he's saying that he already has a few shares at a price of two eighty seven rupees, but uh, given uh, the current market price, can he go ahead and add more? So this stock is again correcting because you know we uh, spoke a little while earlier of uh, PSU is correcting and uh, RBNL is in that uh, in that group of stocks. uh his his acquisition price is uh, very attractive so i think don't be in a hurry to uh, sort of add at this price uh, just see where this correction takes you and maybe then you can revisit the stock i think for the moment just stay put with what you have already uh, uh, bought and i think you know your as i said your buying price is very good so uh, uh, just stay invested in that and uh, wait for a bit Shamila's view when it comes to RVNL. With that, let's slip into a short break and we'll start addressing more of your queries post that. Welcome back to Buy Now Sell Now, and let's keep it going with all your stock-related queries. We have Sharmila Joshi as well as Osho Krishnan uh, with us to guide you better, and uh, let's keep it going. Then, and the next query that I have, um, Osho, the first query that I have for you is coming from Jay, and this one is on Ward Wizard Innovations and Mobility. Uh, he's holding 1,500 shares, and his buy price is 66 rupees. Uh, since I was not sure that Sharmila tracks this counter or not, so. uh i did put this query to you how do you see the technical setup of this one and will you be able to advise him a uh, very good morning firstly thank you for having me at your show but pardon me can you please tell me the name of the script because even i it, this is something okay. that i have i am very new to uh that's ward wizard innovations and mobility mm, i i okay. could not Sharmila, find the script. by any chance do you track this one i do I do, I do. Oh, that's great. Uh, Shal, <laughs> yes, Ashwin. What a coincidence! I, I actually don't know the current price, but this is the stock that I like. Uh, this is a pure play electric vehicle two wheeler, and uh, the numbers have been good. Uh, I think you know the stock has seen some amount of correction because there have been some exits by investors, etc. And it's a small cap stock, so uh, you do see uh, these kind of uh, uh, price movements. But as I said, it's a stock that I like because I like EV as a space. and within the ev space in the two wheeler space this is a pure play so uh, uh, if you are a long term investor you can consider staying invested well uh, the next query uh, is uh, from thomas george from kerala he has bought 33 shares of electra green tech a few months back he wants to know whether should he exit or hold on to this counter osho any view on electra green tech see this counter is looking very positive this this has been into a time wise corrective phase after uh, uh, testing the zone of 2200 so overall there has been a cool off in this counter from the higher zone but technically the technical parameters have corrected from overbought territory towards the oversold territory and this is a very lucrative levels to accumulate this counter from short to medium term time frame currently uh, the support lies around the zone of 1540 odd levels while on the higher end 1780 to 1800 is the first resistance for the counter the time it emerges above 1800 then from there onwards we can see a revival and again re-strengthening of the bullish trend in this counter all right then uh, sharmila getting back to you first of all um, that's great to know that you were uh, tracking ward wizard since the company is into joy e bikes because we were also tracking it a while back so uh, that's great to know we'll try to put more such uh, queries to you in the small cap space but uh, sharmila the next query that i have is from the large cap space is on IGL and Lakshmi is holding 100 shares her buy price is 438 rupees Sharmila how do you see this uh, for the long term investment good to hold on or look for better opportunities 
So as we know, the gas distribution space has uh, taken a little bit of a hit uh, because of uh, you know certain developments. But uh, having said that, I think that uh, from the longer term perspective, again, uh, this is a theme that I like. So if you are a longer term investor, stay put. I think there could be near term concerns uh, because there was you know some uh, if if you are talking of mass electrification of ma uh, public transport in cities. Then uh, the gas distribution space does get impacted, but that said, you know we are a very large uh, uh, country, and uh, when you look at the kind of gas requirement that will come up in tier two, tier three cities going ahead, that makes me reasonably confident on the stock. So if you're a long-term investor, stay invested. Next query is from Nikhat from Bangalore. Uh, he wants to know a short-term view on Hudco and any other stock that that is looking good from short-term perspective, Osho. See, firstly, for Hudco, this counter is looking very positive because it has been in the cycle of higher highs, higher lows. Currently, has uh, cooled off from the zone of approximately 350 and hovering towards 290 odd levels. But I am expecting it is taking a breather and it is uh, getting itself a base for before the next leg of rally. So I am expecting that in the coming period, from short to medium term time frame, definitely there can be a strong up rally in the counter. While on the higher end, I am expecting 330 to 350. to be seen as immediate target from short to medium term time frame other counters which are looking very positive for short term so there are many breakout counters which are looking very positive for example insurance sector is looking very positive at present level so one should eye for insurance companies followed by chemicals agriculture chemical companies are also looking very positive they have given breakout for example in uh, insurance hdfc life has given a breakout so one can look for that counter to accumulate from short to medium term perspective from chemical perspective uh, 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 space there is there are counters like chambal fertilizer which is giving a breakout so one should definitely uh, look out to these counter from short term time frame all right then uh, sharmila the next query that i have is on cochin shipyard wherein s vishwanathan is um, holding 50 shares buy price is 205 rupees good to hold on or like book out profits has been a multi bagger for him I don't know whether to be jealous. Two hundred and five rupees entry price, stock price is two thousand. But you know we have seen uh, a lot of uh, stocks within this space. I think it's corrected from three uh, thousand odd levels, so I, that is why I think the concern is there. Uh, but you know all these stocks are way ahead of valuations, and there was a point in time when market was not looking at valuations, and now uh, suddenly we have seen this correction come into the PSU space in this last uh, month or so. So I would just recommend you to be a little patient because you know three thousand was a very unrealistic uh, level for the stock to be at. Uh, maybe some reality will uh, uh, re return to this base uh, because you know their order book is good, their numbers have been good. So uh, uh, I think just uh, you you bought a stock at a good price. Uh, just stay invested in what you have. Athir from Bangalore. He's holding two hundred shares of JNA Access, bought at a price of four twenty. He wants the short term view on this counter, Osho. JNA Access. See again, JNA Access is in a very strong consolidation phase. So I can say that it is forming a very strong base for itself. There has been no positive traction, but there is no negative traction as well. So uh, technically, the counter is hovering near the cluster of its moving average and just at par with the two hundred day SMA. So the traction or the Uh, a strong bu bullish movement can come only once it breaches the zone of 450 on a decisive manner so once it crosses the zone of 450 then we can see uh, the mojo in this counter to come back for a higher targets of nearly 520 to 540 in short term period overall this counter looks very positive it is forming a base there is no negative terrain so for short to medium term perspective one should either accumulate or can stay uh, invested in this counter Uh, Osho, the next query is on ABSL AMC. Hari Krishnan is holding the shares at an average price of five hundred and eight rupees, though he is at a profit. But uh, any targets to look out for if you advise for a hold? Uh, see, overall, these counters are looking very positive. One should stay invested in this counter from short to medium term perspective because overall, all the counters are looking very positive in the segment. So I am expecting that near about. 800 should be the psychological target for short term perspective but that uh, overall trend for this counter is very positive and one should stay invested from medium term time frame this is from susil kumar uh, from trichy and he has a uh, bought few shares of power grid invert at a price of 113 he's been holding it for the last one and a half years uh, sharmila have you tracked this counter power grid uh, invert so invert as a space has been uh, something uh, again that I 
have liked, uh, but uh, there has been uh, some concern on in the space of late, which which I've been reading, not this talk specifically, uh, but in which the space that uh, they've not really found new projects, etc. So uh, you know, you don't know how that pipeline is uh, going to work going forward. Uh, this is a sort of a new. Uh, a new area for uh, our stock market. So I think, again, be a little patient because you are looking at uh, getting sort of regular returns on an investment that you made in an invit. So I think just give it a little bit more time because, uh, as I said, I think uh, the space as a whole uh, is seeing some amount of concern. All right. Uh, the next query that I have, Sharmila, is coming in from Kavita and she has bought Fusion Microfinance. Her buy price is 430 rupees. Whether to hold on to this one or move out? Again, I think, you know, as a space, uh, microfinance is a space that I like. I don't, uh, I haven't tracked uh, uh, Fusion uh, specifically. Uh, so I think uh, results have not been that great, but valuations look okay. So I think that uh, you can probably stay invested for now, uh, but it's just keep revisiting the stock and see how it is doing in terms of numbers, because I think the last quarter wasn't that great, which is perhaps why we are seeing this direction. As Balaji from Chennai, he has bought few shares of Central Bank at a price of 50 rupees and Nike at a price of 163. He wants to know the short term uh, targets for both these counters, Osho. Central Bank, definitely the counter is looking positive. It is hovering near the very strong support of 200 day SMA. Approximately 58, 57 is a very strong support for this counter. So I'm expecting the time it sustains above the same levels. So there is no sign of caution. While on the higher end, 66 is a very strong resistance. So uh, for short term perspective, one can definitely eye for 66 as a target. But from medium term perspective, one can look for higher targets because the time it breaches 66, then it has the a potential to reach towards the zone of 72 in near term perspective. So that can be seen for short to medium term time frame. The other counter which you have mentioned is Nika. So Nika is overall very has seen a very strong performance on technical uh, development. So I expect that this should continue on the higher end. Nearly 250, 255 is the immediate levels that one can eye for in the short term time frame. All right, the next query that I have, Osho, is on Sinjin. Um, Praveen is holding the shares at an average price of 718 rupees. Whether to hold on uh, or book profits in this one? Uh, see, overall, Sinjin is at a very strong resilience level. The, the zone of 840, 850, it has tested in September month last year, 23. And from there onwards, it has seen some kind of correction. So uh, it is advisable to book some kind of profits at these levels because these levels have historically seen some kind of strong resilience. But the time we see a decisive breakthrough, let's say on monthly basis, if we see approximately 860 kind of a level, then one should even add on the higher levels. But for the time being, better to cool off some position and wait for some dip towards the zone of 780 to 800 to reaccumulate discount. The next query is from Salu from Chennai. Uh, she has 40 shares of Usha Martin bought at a price of 400 rupees. Few shares of Anthony Waste bought at a price of 816. On both these counters, she is currently incurring losses. Uh, Sharmila, should she hold on to the, both these counters or uh, move her investment to some other name? So Usha Martin is a stock that I like. And the uh, reason I like it is that in terms of an infra play, we are looking at, uh, you know, they make the uh, steel wire ropes, which are, uh, used uh, to make bridges and uh, we do know uh, the kind of plan and rollout that we have or a lot of suspension, uh, steam ropes, etc. being required. So I think uh, just stay put with uh, Usha Martin uh, that I think uh, in the long term should reward you. Uh, coming to uh, Anthony Waste, I think here the results have not been that great uh, in this last quarter as well as valuations look a little high. So here my view would be a little uh, neutral. Uh, uh, Perhaps I think uh, it might be time to uh, book out of this one. Well, that was the view coming in on Anthony Waste uh, from Sharmila. With that, let's slip into a short break and let us move your queries post that. Welcome back to Buy Now, Sell Now. Let's keep it going with your stock-related queries. And Sharmila, the next query is coming from Guru. And he has three options in mind and wants uh, your advice, uh, which amongst them he can go and buy afresh. First one is Sai Silk, the other one is Sterling Tools, and um, he also has Andhra Cement in mind. Any of the stock you like for a long term investment? One is Sterling Tools, and yes. the other, the first one was? Sai Silk. Sai Silk, okay. And the third one is? The third uh, one is Andhra, Andhra Cement. Cement, yes. 
I think uh, Andhra Cement to me within these three uh, sort of scenes a better option. And I'll tell you why. Uh, I think that in terms of uh, valuations, none of them look uh, uh, particularly attractive. Uh, out of that, I think Andhra Cement uh, probably fits the bill because you uh, haven't, uh, uh, you know, in terms of numbers, it hasn't delivered. So I think, you know, there could be some action going ahead and cement as a space is a, you know, you can uh, correlate it directly to your economy. So maybe some good things could happen here. So uh, maybe you could take a chance and uh, buy a little bit of Andhra Cement. Uh, the next query is from Tushar from Delhi. He wants to enter CAC at current levels for long term. Uh, Sharmila, does CAC look like a good buy at this level? I'm sorry, I didn't get the stock name. CESE, the Sanjeev Goenka Group company. CESC. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think that uh, from a longer term uh, perspective, uh, this... Uh, Again, I think, let me just take a quick look at the valuations. See, the business uh, is a company I like. And in terms of uh, power generation as a space, again, I'm uh, fine with uh, somebody investing in that. Valuations look a little high. So the advice would be to uh, sort of start doing an SIP and try and buy it on tips. All right, moving on. And Osha, the next query is coming from Shankar. And he wants an advice on Inox, Wind and MMTC. He's already had good profits in both of these names. What to do, hold or book profits right now? Uh, see, for Inox Wind, definitely the trend is very positive and still it is hovering at a higher highs, higher lows kind of a pattern on weekly and daily time frame. So I expect the trend should continue and until the trend reverses back, better to ride the momentum. So keep a strict stop loss around the zone of 200 and keep riding the momentum. I'm expecting 245 to 50 to be seen as the immediate target. But do make sure that you have to keep a stop loss in this counter because technically this counter have reached the overbought territory and there is a probability of having a correction or profit booking in this counter in the coming period. So accordingly, one should adjust their uh, uh, stop losses. The other one, BB, the other counter was BBTC. Oh, so that, that was MMTC. Sorry, M MMTC, I have to see. Uh, again, MMTC, the trend is positive. The, the counter is into a consolidation phase near about the psychological mark of 100. So that should be acting as a strong support for this counter. And the time it reaches above the zone of 110, then we can see some kind of traction coming back in this counter from short to medium term time frame. Com currently, it is comfortably hovering near the zone of 21 exponential moving average. And one should definitely stay invested for a higher target of nearly 125 to 130. Next query is from Neeraj. He has 120 shares of HBL Power, bought at a price of 52. What would be the short term view uh, on HBL Power, Osho? Uh, see, overall, HBL Power has seen a very strong move in the recent period, and I am expecting the move to continue in the coming future also. So one should definitely stay invested in this counter. Currently, it has made a very strong pattern breakout and hovering well above the neckline of the breakout. So approximately 600 should be the support zone for this counter, while on the higher end, 690 to 700 should be the target from short to medium term time frame in this counter. Right. Um, Sharmila, the next query is on Patel Engineering. Sur Surabjit Dev has bought it at a price of 65 rupees. What to do in this one since he's at a loss? Uh, so, uh, once again, I think uh, we are uh, talking of a slightly uh, smaller cap uh, sort of a stock. Uh, bigger than what Wizard, but I think uh, small cap nonetheless. And I think uh, here the numbers are good. Again, it's a sector that I like. We are seeing the stock undergoing some kind of a correction. Uh, but uh, honestly, I think that, uh, as I said, because it's a, it's a company I try and, and stock that I like, I would uh, stay, uh, uh, really recommend staying invested in this one. Uh, but of course, I think you need to give it to it. The next query is from Manjunathan from Bangalore. Uh, he has bought few shares of Yatharda Hospital at a price of 444 rupees. Uh, he's holding 200 shares. Uh, How is this uh, counter looking like on uh, charts, uh, Osho? Uh, see, technically, this counter have seen a strong traction in the recent period, currently hovering above the 490, which is the breakout zone. So I expect this should continue, the momentum should continue in this counter. But again, 490, 500 being the psychological mark can provide some kind of resilience in the near period. So stay caution, maintain caution, uh, keep a structure stop loss around the zone of 470 because the counter is little volatile in nature. So keep a stop loss of 470 and hold the time it gives an authoritative or decisive breakthrough above 500, then we can see a follow-up buying coming in this counter. 
Right, uh, Osho, the next query is coming from uh, Venkati and he is holding shares of CG Power. Uh, 80 shares, buy price is 759 rupees. What's your outlook in this, Osho? See, for power sector, overall sector is looking very positive. CG Power, again, uh, being a, a very secular primary uptrend counter, but I am expecting that the time it reaches the zone of 760, 70 levels, then only we can see some kind of traction. Overall, trend is very positive. If one needs to hold it from medium to long-term perspective, definitely uh, stay in this counter. But for short-term perspective, 760 is a kind of a resilience. The time it breaches the zone of 760, then only we can see some strong traction coming in this counter. Next query is from Venu from Chennai. He's holding, uh, he was holding 100,000 sh shares of Banani Industries before it was purchased uh, by Ultratech. Uh, Sharmila, any view on the cement space overall? Overall, I like the cement space and uh, what we would uh, wait to see is that as the KPEX cycle sort of kicks in and the government spend increases, you will see more orders coming to uh, cement as a whole. And as I said earlier, you know, cement is a direct correlation to your economy. So if you're expecting your economy to do well, then it stands to reason that uh, cement stocks will also do reasonably well. Alta Tech is a name that I like within the space. Uh, so also, I think uh, Ambuda Cement, in fact, as a disclosure, I hold both. So, I would continue to uh, hold uh, both these stocks. All right. Uh, the next query, Sharmila, is coming in from Furman. And uh, can he hold NBCC? He's already having 500 shares. Buy price is 189 rupees. But how do you see this counter moving ahead? Uh, again, I think he can continue to hold, but not buy fresh because the valuations look a little expensive. The next query is from J.M. Dave Gurgaon and he's holding all high-value stocks. 10 shares of 3M India bought at a price of 38,700. Four stocks of Honeywell bought at a price of 56,000. Uh, Sharmila, do you track both these counters, 3M India, Honeywell, any uh, advice on both these companies? Both stocks are great stocks. I own Honeywell out of the two. Uh, so I think, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not selling, so I would continue. Uh, I, I'm assuming he's a long-term investor. So, I think it's a great idea to continue to hold both these stocks. Right. Uh, Sharmila, once again, I'm coming to you. This query is from Mrs. S. Mukherjee writing uh, to us from Kolkata. And what she has uh, done is she has invested in four railway stocks um, and she is at a loss in all of those. Uh, firstly, is Ircon, RVNL, Railtel, and IRFC. These are the four counters that she is holding and at a loss. Uh, what to do right now, Sharmila? Should she wait out uh, to like maybe exit at a higher price or look for better opportunities or stay for long term? So, first of all, you know, I think I like the strategy that you buy a basket of uh, railway stocks because, you know, we do see that uh, in the past uh, rather more than I think in current times, railway stocks have moved only a couple of times in the year around budget time when you're expecting some big spend to come or when they get as and when they get uh, orders. Uh, so I think that, uh, and again, I think I like the fact that in this basket, uh, each stock within the railway space also looks at a separate vertical within the uh, in the rail space. So you know, uh, uh, RVNL is uh, is sort of uh, uh, targeting a certain se uh, vertical. Railtel, Railtel is looking at a telecommunication uh, sort of network within the rails. So I think uh, it's it's unfortunate that we've seen a correction in this space and uh, the valuations are expensive even as we speak. So the only advice would be if you were to see a uh, further correction, then uh, perhaps think of averaging. But as for now, I think just stay put with what you have. Next query is from Akhil. He's holding uh, 706 shares of Z Entertainment, bought at a price of 286, currently sitting under a big loss. He wants to know whether should he average or exit this counter completely, Sharmila? You know, I'm not like a. Uh, I, I I feel like there is a lot of uh, competition for uh, GC space uh, from uh, you know the OTT platform, and you are sort of reinventing yourself in that space. And you know the kind of news flow that there is around uh, the stock. I would really honestly just recommend an exit. All right. Uh, the next query that I have, Osho, is on Gulf Oil Lubricants, wherein uh, Rima Thomas is holding 16 shares. Buy price is 1,245 rupees. Whether to hold on or exit this one? Uh, see, Gulf Oil is looking positive. It is. It is basically uh, has been in a higher trend of a formation of higher highs, higher lows. So I expect the trend should continue in the near period also because primarily this counter has never seen a very drastic plunge or drastic profit booking. There has been some 
blips in between, but overall trend remains very positive. So one should stay invested uh, on the technical front. 1300, 1310 is the zone where one should uh, expect some kind of cushion if there will be any kind of profit booking or correction in this counter. While on the higher end, the time it breaches the zone of 1400, which is approximately just three or four points from here onwards. So definitely there can be a 150 point of upsurge that can be seen in this counter in short term period. So overall, it is a hold from short and even for medium term time frame. It's from Balakrishnan from Chennai. He wants to know whether should he buy Concord Biotech at current prices for long term. Sharmila, or have you tracked this counter? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, any short term view on this, Osho? Concord Biotech? See, Concord Biotech, technically there has been no very strong uh, data because this, this counter has recently been placed. But overall trend is very positive. Uh, higher highs, higher lows has been maintained in this counter. So I expect that this should continue. On the lower end, approximately 1500, 1520 is a very strong support. While on the higher end, the time it breaches the zone of 1750, we can see another high in this counter for the zone of 1870 to 1900. So definitely a hold from medium term time frame. Osho, what's your advice on Imami Limited? Uh, Krishnan from Bangalore is holding 50 shares. Buy price is close to 800 rupees. Whether to hold on or exit this one? Uh, see, overall, uh, I guess he might have purchased recently this counter because overall this counter is looking very positive. But near the zone of 800, there has been some kind of consolidation in the last two to three trading weeks. So I expect that the trend should continue on the higher end only when it gives a very decisive breakout above 840 odd levels. So for short term view, one should stay invested with a stop loss of nearly 790. The time it breaches 840, then we can see another leg of rally for approximately 40 odd points. But for medium term time frame, definitely a hold uh, for, for a higher target. That was also Osho's view on Imami. With that, let's input, slip into a short break and we'll be back and address more of your queries post. Welcome back to Buy Now Sell Now. Let's keep it going with your stock related queries. And the next query that I have uh, is coming in on from Akash Mathur. Um, Osho, if you can advise him on PCBL, he already has over 250 stocks uh, at an average price of 360 rupees. Uh, what's your outlook on this one? Worth adding more at current market price? The stock is PCBL. Yes, the counter have seen a very drastic upsurge post the levels he have bought because he have bought approximately around the breakout zone, which was near to 340, 350 odd levels. So that was a very strong accumulation zone uh, for this counter. Now the current, now the current scenario, uh, the technical parameters have reached the overbought territory. So it is not advised to uh, average the price on the higher levels for the time being. But for a shorter term duration, one should definitely try to book some of their profits and wait for some kind of correction towards the zone of 400 or 400, uh, 390 odd levels. Then one should reaccumulate from a medium term time frame. Indranil Bhattacharya from Gurugram, he is holding few shares of 1500 shares of Vinati Organics. He had bought this uh, via the uh, during the IPO of the company. So massive gains that he's sitting on. Uh, Sharmila, should he book profits here or do you see the prospects continue to be good for Vinati Organics going forward? Since he's bought at IPO, I think he's sitting on a lot of money. So definitely, I think stay invested. Uh, you should just, I think, uh, uh, keep your eye on uh, uh, the way the company is doing in terms of uh, their profitability and things like that. But I don't really see any concern. So definitely uh, stay invested. The next query, Sharmila, is coming from Aditya Rupesh from Dubai and he wants to invest in TCS for a long term uh, for the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, from the IT space, will TCS be the best bet or he can look out for some other counter as well? So TCS is a good stock. Uh, within the large cap space, I would also recommend HCL Tech. And what I would also recommend is that very honestly, what I've seen is that mid cap IT actually gives you better returns than large cap IT. Uh, but if you don't have any large cap IT, then definitely I think buy a TCS or an HCL tech. But if you already own some other large cap IT stock, balance it out and buy some uh, mid cap name. Uh, there could be a whole host of names that you could look at, Persistent, Zensar, you know, I'm just throwing some names at Tata, LXC. Uh, so you could look at any of these names. The next query is from Pavitra from Bangalore. Uh, it's on three stocks, uh, Sharmila, Ola Electric, Yes Bank and Tata Tech. Uh, should she continue to hold all these three counters? So I think yes, bank would be my sort of only slightly question mark. Both the other two, I think yes, you can definitely continue to hold. 
All right. Uh, the next query is on Concor and um, Osho, if you can advise um, Venkat Ramani uh, on this counter holding 600 shares, buy price is 1151 rupees, sitting at a loss, but he can still hold it for the next 12 to 18 months. What's your outlook on this, Osho? Uh, see, approximately 1150 was the uh, lifetime high zone for this counter, but I'm expecting that as it is now hovering towards the 200-day SMA, so there can be a, some kind of revival or relief from the corrective phase. So one should stay invested uh, from medium to long-term perspective. The counter is near a very strong support zone, and there could be a decent revival, not very ag aggressive on the target, but gradual up move can be seen, and the buying price definitely will be seen in from medium term time frame. All right, uh, with this viewers, let's kick start taking your queries in the rapid fire session. We are already through 35 queries in the show right now, but more queries to address in the rapid fire session quickly. And the first query that I have, Sharmila is on macro tech developers. Kamla, Kamal wants to know, is this a good stock to buy at current market price? Uh, yes, you could buy this at this price. Next, uh, queries from uh, Pramod from uh, Mangalore. He has bought uh, 950 shares of Angel One at a price of 2860. Osho, he wants to know whether should he book losses here? I cannot recommend on the same company which I, where I belong for, so yeah. I, I cannot comment anything on Angel One. All right, all right, we understand, Osho. Uh, but the next query that I have uh, is on JSW Infra. Um, Sharmila, your advice on this counter, Tina is holding 2,000 shares, buy price is 149 rupees, what to do in this one? Continue to hold. The next uh, query is uh, from uh, Vindya, Vidya from Chennai, she is holding shares of Asian Paints and Titan, should she continue, uh, book profits on both this counter, Sharmila? She likes both, so unless she requires money, but otherwise I would really recommend her. Alright, another query Sharmila, wherein Aditya is making like very handsome returns in one of the defence counters that is Cochin uh, Shipyard where he is holding the stock from an average price of 300 and, uh, close to 317 rupees. What's your view in this one Sharmila? Next query is from Shankar from Tuti Koran. Uh, he is holding 3,300 shares of uh, Zomato bought at a price of 55. He wants to know whether should he buy more 2,000 shares of Zomato at current levels. Uh, Sharmila, what would be your view here? Uh, I would wait for a correction. Alright, uh, the next query Sharmila is uh, on Nika. Gautam wants to know, is this a good buy at current market price? Uh, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, the next query is from uh, Venkati and he wants to know whether should he buy transformers and rectifiers and Karnataka Bank Osho for short term? Uh, for short term, yes, Karnataka Bank one can definitely look to accumulate. Uh, the other counter which you have mentioned, I, I did not get the name. Uh, transformers and rectifiers, TRIL. Uh, transformers and rectifiers, again it is into a consolidation zone. For uh, Currently it is not having any strong traction. But uh, for medium term time frame, looking at the overall trend, one should definitely accumulate. All right, but with this, peers, it's time's up in this rapid fire session as well as on the Buy Now, Sell Now show. Thank you so much, Osho, as well as Sharmila, for joining us today and helping all our viewers resolve their stock related queries. You have been really helpful because we did address more than 35 queries in the show today, Somit. So, good going. But with this, it's time to wrap this edition, viewers. Don't go anywhere. Markets alone will take the action ahead. If you like this video then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.